most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. All right, sorry, windier in hell here, but this is where we're going. Um, yeah, all kinds of cool head frames. We'll check this out. So we're gonna go down here, and we really like this because a nice ladder going down there, not that steep. And we're thinking there's gonna be some cool cross cuts here. The reason being is there's a huge amount of waste rock here, so it sure certainly didn't come from the shaft. Karen and I are just heading our way back home to Canada and uh, just cutting through the desert, in California, east of Death Valley, and we found a really cool spot that had. A whole bunch of uh, big head frames going down, so, uh, you know, some rotten ladders and stuff. So we're just going to go spend a couple of days here, and we're just going to put some ropes on and head down and check out this mine. This started off as a gold mine, but they end up mining Shiite here, which is what they make tungsten out of. How fast they can go down? Should have brought a glove. Oh, uh, crosscut here already? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't maybe. Oh, it's cool. Should I go down the bottom? Sure. Yeah, this crosscut here, we're only like 20 feet below. Yeah? Yeah. Looks really cool. Or shoots and everything. One down. Okay. Continues on further down, so pretty cool. All right, let's uh, explore this level. Looks pretty good. Which way? So this is the last level they mined because obviously they weren't, uh, as you can see, that this is as far as the skip car went to this level. So the, the levels below this is going to be older. Then this is, this is a pretty old mine already. There's an old carbide can, pretty old. We're seeing a carbide can this, you know, this easy to get down to. We're going to see some pretty cool stuff in this mine, I think. So here's a an ore chute down to this level. This is obviously the last level they mined, but they went further, so, and we will too, so. Yeah. This is actually really, for us, this is really easy to get into. But, you know, tourists don't like uh, going down steep shafts of ropes. So. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, there's a stope up there. Oh. That's what you were looking at going up. Maybe they mine these little pockets out of here. Yeah, it goes up right here too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There she goes up there. Well, we're definitely not going up there. Huh. And we're kind of out of mine here, are we? No, there's a whole layer. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. This is what you don't enjoy all that much, eh, Sharon? Not really. <laughs> Tends a bit slow. <laughs> If it gets big on the other side, it's okay. This is a little skinnier than the ones you're used to doing. Huh? Is it? Yeah. Or you had too much lunch? No, I'm not seeing nothing in here. A little pocket. That's a cool little section of it. We're not that far underground. It's probably not going to go too far. Alright, let's have a look at this side. It's a roller. I have to get closer. It's a roller with a cable ran across for that steep skip. 
Yeah, so it's a roller. This rock looks really hard, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Pretty solid. Oh. Well, there's no shoot going up there. Now, let's go to the end and I want to climb up here. Look at all the stacked rock along here. Well, there's little rooms everywhere. I made a dust mask in here, but... When I was pushing a little bit of that rock to the bottom, it was pretty dusty. It's very dusty there. My lungs just kill me at the end of the day. But I'm almost scared to go to the doctor and ask him to x-ray my lungs. There's a lot of dusty mines in Arizona. Let's go back up. I'm going to go up that ore chute. Okay. And see if there's anything interesting up there. This is old. This looks really old. Oh, it goes into a big area. <laughs> wow. This must have just collapsed. It was a right branch. Oh, cool. Was that the same area we were just in? Look that way. Can you see a light? Mm, no. No? It's another area. Wow. It goes both ways. <laughs> You're gonna have to see this, it's cool. Well, wow, really cool. Yeah. Just a little bit of tight there. It's real solid here. I didn't think it was gonna be worth even going in here, but have a look at this. This, these look like some of the oldest mines we've been in. Pretty skinny, all right. I feel a lot of air coming this way. There must be a shaft. Oh, well, this is quite the adventure crawling through all this stuff, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the air must be coming from down here. Oh, what? The air is just screaming from down here. Here, well, I don't know about we, but me. <laughs> this is where all the air is coming from. You feel a whole bunch of cold air coming up through here. Make sure mm. I don't fall into a big hole here. That looks crazy. <laughs> There's a ladder here. Huh. <laughs> It's like a labyrinth in here. Yeah. There's a part of an old ladder here. Another passageway. Where's all this air coming from? Huh? Huh? It keeps going, but it gets skinnier. I think there's a big head frame here. Oh yeah, it opens way up in here. What do you think about coming down here? You okay with that? First I just want to know, do we know how to get out? Oh yeah, no problem at all. Are you sure? Yeah, it's really, it's really simple. I just go a little ways there and it's that little hole to the left there. No problem at all. No, I know exactly where we are. I know you have a little trouble with the navigation under here, but I'm totally comfortable there's no problem at all. It's a little tight, but you'll, you'll be okay. How far of the... Narrow part is it? Just this part and then there's another little narrow part and then it opens way up. It's really cool. I think we're underneath another great big major shaft part. Because the air is just screaming in here. So, and I see a bunch of timbers and cool stuff there. <laughs> You're doing good girl. I've never met anyone that was braver than you. <laughs> That's fairly easy to get into. It's a little tight, but <laughs> you're doing awesome. Wow, what an exciting explore this is. Okay, so you can just hold on to this here. And we're going to go through this part. Oh, no, no. Let's go through here. Did you I go... see huge timbers in here, so. Did you go through there already? Nope. I can move a bunch of these rocks out there and make it a little thinner, but. 
up and down huh so there's a some timbering in here yeah well it goes on this way holy so it goes somewhere or no oh yeah well there's air coming I feel it there's air screaming out of here so yeah definitely goes somewhere what do you think about going through there I can go through right here do you want to move some rocks out of the way? No, I think I'm good. It's not that tight. One good thing about this mine is so solid. There's nothing that looks soft at all. There's nothing cracked in here or anything. Looks pretty good. Well, maybe it's not as big as I thought it was. Ouch. I was going to say I was going to move. I could move them, a few of them out of the way, but just got a little bit and then you'll be done. It opens up just a few feet ahead there. Yeah, I was a little skinny in there. <laughs> this is where I say, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> well, as long as you're not swearing, we're good. Ah, <laughs> 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 girl. <laughs> Your grandkids will enjoy watching these videos, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so. We're trying to follow this air. Oh yeah. Main. Right, right where I'm standing, you go down and we're back to the main hall level. Like where we were? No, no, we're way further past that. It's like a labyrinth going through here. All these different levels in here. Huh, look at all the track in here. Well, maybe we can go up these ladders and go a different way. If you want to trust ladders. Wow, holy, look at all the cool stuff in here. Oh, we can get out here pretty easy, I think, if you want. Yeah, let's check this out. Wow, this is ever cool. Right. This, is <laughs> this is where I know it's not right, but <laughs> we're not lost, don't worry. Okay. There's some tracks in here. So people have been in here. Maybe we're gonna run into them. Wow! This mine just keeps going and going. Huh. It's probably gonna be a dead end here though. No, no. Going down. Oh. Now if she goes down to a decline that's fairly steep. Okay. That's not gonna go any further, right? I don't know. Just go Let me shine up. Have a look up further up there. Why are those cuts stoops? No. Oh, those cross cuts there. What do you call them? in there. Stalls. Yeah. They just put them in there to bind that area out. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is pretty exciting, Sharon. <laughs> Are you excited? We're not lost. <laughs> we're not lost, trust me. We're not lost. That's where we came from. Yeah. Doesn't look like it goes anywhere from here, so. Okay. There's a couple big rocky slabs up there. We probably should screw around here too much. Probably not. Most of the back here looks really good. But there's a couple places, there's some big slabs that are held up much more. I don't want to be mucking around that too much. Alright, so this is the most skinny place that Sharon didn't enjoy. And those things, we just move some of these rocks out of the way for you. We've been through a lot thinner places than this. Oh, 
place is nice and cool here. Appreciate that. Lots of air moving through here. Almost through. Yep. Okay. See how it was done? Yep. <laughs> I don't know, your boyfriend has a, some crazy ideas of fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> See how it works a lot better on your back because you can use your feet? If you're on your front, you can't use your feet at all. But when you're in your back, you can use your feet to lift up a little bit and you can go through a real skinny place using your feet. Notice that? Yeah. There you go. There we go. Yeah, I bet you never done that before, huh? No. <laughs> Yeah, all well, one thing, you just take your time and you think about it a little bit. And you're fine. There you go. Good girl. Are we heading in the right direction? I feel like it. <laughs> well, you're following me, so that's the right direction. This is the other level when we were coming down that we saw. Remember that orchard I was thinking about going up? We're at the top of it. <laughs> Yeah, just keep coming this way and we can just get back on the ladders and head back down the main hall. There's wings of moths here. And the reason there's wings of moths here is because the bats catch moths. They don't eat the wings. They just eat the moths and spit the wings out. Making her up. Yeah. This is the level we didn't explore on the way down. I don't know if there's anything more on the other side. <laughs> Guess what? There's a skinny hole. Okay, we'll see if there's anything. Well, look at see all this was supported by these stalls. A lot of it falling off, and the stalls are holding that up. <laughs> so I'll stick my nose up in through here and see if there's anything up in here. It ends right there. So now. You just have to come out here, hook onto this rope, and go back down. Well, you're actually only about, we're about halfway up, just from climbing up that little. Do you want to give me the camera? Here. Yeah. Doesn't look like, uh, here we go, see, looking straight down, there's the level that we were just at. I'm thinking that's not more than, oh, I don't know, 75 feet at the most to get up there. So this is what we do on a typical day between happy hour and supper. <laughs> All right. Okay, now Sharon's going to come down from that cross cut we were just at, and we'll come straight down, so. Let's see how fast you can do it. I don't have any glove on though. Oh yeah, that makes it a little hard because that rope kind of burns your hands if you don't have gloves. So. Yeah. I'm not much of a glove guy. I know everyone says, well, how come you're not wearing gloves? Well, you really can't grab stuff very good with gloves on. And I'm not a pussy. Not saying Sharon is, but. <laughs> there you go. That was pretty cool coming down the. Time down where the skip car came. There you down there, let's see what's down there. Looks like there's a level just a little ways down. Okay, so we're we're down to the next level, which isn't very far at all, only probably about another 30 feet down. And it's blocked, okay, so there's there was an ore pass from both sides. Another trap door. And it continues back down. I'm thinking maybe another 50 feet down. So I'm sure we'll have enough rope. We got 200 feet of rope, so. And we're only maybe. Oh, maybe a hundred feet down, I'm thinking. So let's keep going down. Cool, fair ways yet. Still on ropes here, so. Wow. Yeah, another level. Oh, how much further down? Not that much further. I wonder if we got enough rope. We might just have enough. Wait till Sharon come down. We'll chuck this level out and we'll see if we can get to the next one.
You're getting better and better on them ropes. <laughs> okay. Um, watch some nails. Um, there's one. That I stepped on one there. Put through the bottom of my foot. <laughs> right. Awesome. Good job. Mm, that's the fun part. Probably pretty old, eh? No, there's no dynamite. Part of explosives. Oh, cool. What is that hanging there? Oh. <laughs> that looks like a miner's cat, isn't it? Oh, gross. How do you get hung in there? I don't know. Weird. Maybe someone put them there. Okay. Um, it's dusty here. It's just kind of walk a little slow. Oh, look at them explosives. Boxes here. We've got a whole road in there. Somebody set there for us. Nothing much there, though. A rat. A rat. Oh, God. Dirty rat. <laughs> that is so gross. What is going on? <laughs> That's artwork there, this see? Is a horror There's rat. a miner's cat with a rat. I didn't catch that part. Oh. <laughs> so gross. A miner's cat with a rat on his tail. So I think there's been some artists down here. <laughs> Keep your legs right that, that have the same kind of crude sense of humor as I do. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> cat and a rat. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Look at they drilled through here and blasted and left a little bit in here. <laughs> that make a cool picture. <laughs> that looked like uh, a wrapper for dynamite. Yeah, that's not wax paper they use for dynamite. Oh, I'm gonna stick to the right. You know the rules, right? 1954 on that, eh? Model fridge. <laughs> oh, 1954 Frigidaire. Pants. That's the best yeah, pants I will find. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll find some awesome pants. It's nice in here. It's not hot. Not sweaty. And we've got artifacts. I don't know what that is. Part of an old tin or something. Old can. You can't see much of anything there. Ooh, look at it goes down further. Huh. Watch it, there's a false floor here. Way down. And up too. Oh that looks cool. Oh that ladder looks good enough for me to go up there. Yeah. I think up this ladder looks Is it good. going? There's a platform just up there, I gotta see what's up there. See, there's a, a, a shaft going down. Not very far up here. It looks safe, right? Mm, you think? I don't know. Would you go up here? Mm, probably. I don't weigh as much as you. Good. Let's take my dime. I put my feet on one rung at a time. Seems to be all solid. The boards are a little cracked, but should I go see if there's anything awesome? Yep. There isn't, probably. Maybe you shouldn't. Whoa, whoa. You're knocking stuff down here. That must be the false floor that he just walked over. I can hear him still walking around up there. This is the wall. Looks kind of cool. Level. Yeah. It goes back to uh, where that shaft where it was and there was nothing going there. It goes to there where it's plugged in. Ta -da. So let me have a look at this. Like, to your left, kind of? Yeah, well maybe we'll get to it. 
out of the way, but we're not getting down there anyway. That's up for a carbide lamp. Or what matches? Ohio matches. Well, we've explored all of the right hand ramps, so now we're going to head down this side here. So we're probably about, I think, about the 180 level. That's the antifreeze, right? Yep. Yeah, they use that for. Xerox. They use that to put in the airlines to keep them from freezing up. So what do we got for? Monday, a January date? 10th. But what year is it? Yeah. Well, here's a 1954 GE. So 54, yeah, back in the 50s, one. huh? Okay, let's see what we got in this branch. Hmm. Hmm. A fair bit of stuff kind of falling off the back here. Well, I bet you if you go to the end there, that's going to be as far as it goes, but let's see if I'm right. I think she's going to face out right there. I'm trying to save myself a little bit of work. I'm trying to get in it. <laughs> and it worked that time. Nothing at all anymore. I haven't seen anything recent in here. Oh, lots of air here. Ooh, piles of air. Okay. Feels nice. Well, the air feels really nice. That looks pretty extensive, but you gotta stick to the right. More matches, I guess. That's um, I can get too close to that salt pole store here, right? Mm -hmm. Good, right? Good till it's not. Is that what you always say? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've walked uh, quite a long ways along here, haven't we? Oh, I don't know, we're way over half a mile, I'm sure. The track comes in here. Oh, there was a windlass here, see? These two things are from windlass. You know what a windlass is? What? It's, uh, see these two things here? So they had a winds going down, they just had a big spool, and those two, it's like a big spool sat in those two things, and they cr hand crank to get stuff up from a, a lower level. Try to grab as many things as you can so something you know, did come loose and you got a bunch of other things to hang on to or whatever, right? That's usually the key. All of a sudden something happened and you slipped. Don't bet everything. Don't put all your chips in one pot. Give me a little skinny bit there. Move that away. So it's all pretty clear now, so it's safe to go. All right, so at the bottom, it's really dusty here. Well, there's plugs here though. Let's see how there's any way we can get any further. Look how much rope we had left. Right at our knot. So we're 200 feet straight down. 30 or 40 feet or something. So we're 200 feet straight down. And uh, I can start making my way back up. <laughs> Supper time. <laughs>